Rita traveled 35 kilometers from a point towards south and then turned left and traveled 20 kilometers and finally turned left again and traveled 35 kilometers. In which direction is she? From the starting point. So since it is about direction, we don't even have to worry about uh, the distances, right? So just trace the path. Rita traveled 35 kilometers from a point towards south. So she started from this point, traveled 35 kilometers. She comes here, let's say. Then turn left. See, the person is going towards south, right? So left for that person will be on this side. Right? When you are in the southern direction, left is not left on paper. Left is right on paper, right? So she turned left and traveled 20 kilometers. So she traveled 20 kilometers. Finally, turn left again. Now see, you are going towards east. And if a person is facing east, left will be towards north. So turn left again and travel 35 kilometers. I think distances are also important because he's asking in which direction is she from the starting point. So this is the starting point and this is the finishing point, let's say. Now why are distances important? Because we have to find out from starting point, where is she? So see, this is 35, this is 20 and this is 35. So the point is these two are equal. Starting point to this point and this point to finishing point are all equal. Lens are equal. So the, the point is Rita will come exactly in this straight line. She will stop in the straight line towards east of the starting point. Yes or no? She is in which direction? East direction. Suppose if this is 40 kilometers, what happens? She will overshoot. Overshoot this line and come here, somewhere here. If, if it is 40 kilometers, let's say. Right? So this is the finishing point. In that case, where is she from the starting point? She is in the north east direction. This would be northeast. Right? If she is traveling only 30, she will stop here. So where is she from the starting point? She is in the uh, uh, you know, southeast direction, southeast direction. So that is the reason I think distance are also important. Sorry, I thought distance is not related here, but distance is also important. So 35, 20, 35, she will be exactly in the east direction. A is to the south of B, C is to the southeast of B and south of D. C is to the east of E, who is to the west of A, who is southwest of D. B is in which direction with respect to D. That's the question. Now, very clearly, you can see every statement is linked with the previous statement, like A to B then C to B, right, C is also linked to D, C is linked to E, E is linked to A, A is linked to D. So, all these five persons, A, B, C, D, E here can be plotted on the graph, right, on the map basically. Now, and then we have to find out B is in which direction with respect to D. So, let's, let's start doing this. A is to the south of B, A is to the south of B, south of B. So, let's say B is here, A is on the south of B. So, A should be in this direction. Now, the point guys that you need to understand is, all we know here is that A is in the southern direction of B. A is to the south of B. But how much south of B is not known to us? Is he 1 kilometer away or 10 kilometer away or 2000 kilometers away or 1 centimeter away or 1 feet away is not known to us. So basically the distances are not given. If you see in none of these statements we have been given the distance between two persons. All we have been given is the direction. So A is to the south of B. Fine, A is to the south of B. But A can be at any of... So basically A has to be on this line, on this straight vertical line below B. He can be anywhere on this line. Let's assume A's position is this, right? So, so to avoid confusion, let's let's just fix some position. See what happens. So, I am assuming that A is on the south of B at this point. But you got to remember that A can be at any point in the straight line below B, right? A is the south of B. C is to the southeast of B. Southeast of B. What is southeast of B? This is south. This is east. Southeast is somewhere in middle. Somewhere in the middle. Again, C is to the southeast of B. But how far away? That's not known to us. Let's assume C is here. Southeast, southeast of B, right? C is on the southeast of B. So, south of B, southeast of B. And south of D, understand, C is to the southeast of B and whenever you have the conjunction and, while, whereas, we always refer to the previous person, the first person. So, C is to the southeast of B and C is to the south of D. C is to the south of D. C is to the south. C is to the south of D. If C is to the south of D, D will be on the north of C. D has to be on the north of C. But how far away? Again, not known to us. Let's assume D is here. So, you see, you can see C is to the south of D, south of D, C is on the south of D, C is on the south of D. Then, next statement, C is to the east of E, C is to the east of E, C is on the east of E. Now, east of E meaning what? C is on the east of E means E is on the west of C. If C is to the east of E, E will be on the west of C. Now, west of C is this side. But is E here or here? Is E between A and C or beyond A is the question here? But if you immediately read the next statement, he says, who is to the west of E? Who is who here? Who refers to the previous person? C is to the east of E. Who is to the west of E? Which means E. E here is to the west of E. E is on the west of E. E is on the west of E. So, E is here. West of E. So, both the conditions are satisfied. You see, C is to the east of E. 
C is on the east of E, east of E, right? This is east of E. Who is? E is to the west of A. E is on the west side of A. Now, again, next point. A is southwest of D. Who here refers to A? Right? A is southwest of D. A is southwest of D. Yes, you see? This is south of D. This is west of D. A is between, sorry, this is west of D. A is between south and west. So, southwest. Right? All the conditions satisfied? Yes. Now, what is the question? B is in which direction with respect to D? B is in which direction with respect to D? Clearly, B and D are in the same straight line. B is in which direction? B is in the west of D. Yes or no? This is west of D. With respect to D, this is west. Right? With respect to D, this is west. So, B is in which direction with respect to D? West is absolutely wrong. Now, you might be wondering what's happening. We have got west as the answer. Then why are we saying is the wrong answer here? West is not the answer. Remember, answer cannot be determined. And we don't have to do all this drama to realize that answer cannot be determined. If you have done such questions in the past or if you understand the crux of this question, you would mark the answer as cannot be determined within no time. Option 4 cannot be determined is the right answer. Option 4 cannot be determined is the right answer. I'll tell you why. Let's do the same thing again. This is case 1. Right? This is case 1. Let's take one more case. We will follow the same directions and plot it. Remember, distances are not known to us. Distances are all unknown. We have no clue about what the distance is. I have assumed that the distance between B and D is so much. Or I have assumed that distance between C and D is so much. What if instead of putting D here, see when I mark D here, I ensured that B is in, D is in line with B. But what if D is here? D dash, let's say this is the position. Fine. D can be here also because the only point we know is C is, uh, you know, C is to the south of D. C is still to the south of D. C is south of D only, right? In this D dash case also, C is to the south of D. A is to the southwest of D. A is still in the southwest of D. But look at the direction between B and D now. It becomes southwest now. Let, 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 let me plot it again, right? Forget about this. Let me forget about D dash. Let me do the whole plotting again. The point is distances are not known. Distances are not known. It is human tendency that when you are doing such questions, you end up marking persons in a way that, you know, they are in the same line. But need not be the case, right? That's what is reasoning. Strictly speaking, how do I know that D is in that this point? D can be anywhere on that straight line. So, let's do this. A is to the south of B. A is to the south of B. B is here. A is on the south of B. C is to the southeast of B. C is to the southeast of B. C is here. But I can say C is here. Southeast. This also is southeast. Nothing wrong. It is still southeast, right? and south of D and south of D. I should stop here itself by the way. Again one more point is another point is I need not do the remaining part. C is to the east of E, E is to the west of A, who is to the southwest of D. All that is not required because eventually the question is B is in which direction with respect to D. B is in which direction with respect to D. I don't have to do this part for that right. C is to the east of E, who is to the west of A, who is to the southwest of D. After plotting these four points, four persons itself, I know that the direction between B and D can be found. B is in which direction with respect to D? This time, B is in between west and south. So, southwest. Earlier, B was west. Now, B is southwest. So, what will you mark? Southwest, which is not there. None of this. Some of you have marked none of this. Even that's wrong because cannot be determined. How do I know which is correct? Is southwest correct? I don't know. Is south is southwest correct? I don't know. Answer cannot be determined unless the distances are known to us. So, option 4 is the correct answer. 